Frederick Wilkerson, the famous archaeologist, died under mysterious circumstances in a hotel room in New York City in 1885. I have determined the cause of death of the individual in question to be due to acute cardiac arrest. No apparent signs of trauma or foul play was found. However, the individual was found in a highly agitated state and it is possible that the extreme emotional distress contributed to the cardiac arrest. Dr. Isaac Hapanathy, Chief Coroner for the City of New York. No! After an excavation in Egypt, those close to him couldn't recognize Frederick, who used to be a very positive and social man. Before his untimely death, that changed drastically. Frederick spoke of strange visions and his mind was clouded by dark thoughts of impending doom. Since then, the oldest members of the Wilkerson family would eventually succumb to the same illness of the mind. Is that a camera line there? Did something just move? What the? Was that a gun shot? Oh no. Whoa, that's not creepy at all. The door is locked from this side. That's strange. Weather's condition has worsened considerably overnight. Doses of both blood and medicine only seemed to make her delusion stronger. To my horror, for a brief moment her appearance changed and it was as if she was someone else entirely. Even her physical shape seemed different.
the effects of the treatment are not good. The physical changes that mother is undergoing has made it difficult for her to walk, and she is now bound to the wheelchair. When she is lucid, she speaks of her grandfather's trip to Egypt and of the tomb he uncovered there. She speaks of the so-called family curse, which I always believed to be nonsense. Each passing day, as she drifts away from me and as my own dreams are infected by the same vision she always spoke of. I'm starting to believe her. Yesterday, outside of the dark room, I think I saw something. <laughs> 